Hi, this tutorial is for teachers who want to make a random seating plan generator. What it does is it randomly changes the seating plan for their classroom. I'll show you right now. If you focus on the names in this seating arrangement, when I sort the names at right, you will notice that the seating has changed and it's changed randomly. Now the seating arrangement that I've shown you here is going to be very different to your seating arrangement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this seating arrangement and you can adapt this and make your own seating arrangement in your own time. So I'm going to make a blank slate and we need to start with some sort of a reference point like a whiteboard. So we'll do that now and I have a border tool here to show where the whiteboard is and I can also highlight the cells and I can merge and center if I want it to be a single cell. I'll then write whiteboard on it. All right, let's do some student desks. I'll highlight these four cells and click on all borders so I get four desks and I'll set up four groups of four desks here just for this example. Obviously your seating arrangement will be very different to mine, so when you do this, you put your desks where you want to. One thing I really need to emphasize is that you do not use the Merge and Center tool for your student desks. If you do that, you won't be able to randomly generate your students on the desks. All right, we also need a list of names. We do not write the names in the cells. We write the names over here on the right. I'm going to pause and write a list of 10 names. All right, now we have our list of 10 names. We need to put them on certain desks. And when I do that, I don't just type the names in. I'm going to click on a desk and I'm going to press the equal sign. And notice that Anne is in cell K. Four. K4 for Anne. So I'm just going to type that in K4 and then press enter and you'll see that Anne's name has come across. It's really important that you do that because if the name changes, let's say it changes to Ryan, notice that the desk will change with it. We'll, we'll put it back to Anne like so. All right, so we need to do that for everyone else. You can do it a different way as well. You can press the equal sign and rather than typing for Ben K5, I can actually click on Ben and it automatically puts K5 in there for you. And then I press enter. All right, I'll do one more. Let's put Charles here. Equal sign. Click on Charles, which is K6. Press the enter key. I'll now pause and put the rest in. All right, you'll notice that we've got all the students assigned to desks and we have some blank spots. When we change the order of the students, the blank desks are going to stay blank. All right, but this can be handy because sometimes you don't want four kids together. You want to have maybe three or two students at, in a group. All right, the next thing we need is we need some random numbers next to our student names. And to do that, I press the equal sign and type R-A-N-D, like so. And then I do open bracket, then close bracket, enter. And you'll see that I've got a randomly generated number. I'll do the same thing again, equals R-A-N-D for random, open bracket, close bracket, enter. Now, rather than typing that over and over, what I can do is I can highlight the cell with the random number there will be a little square in the bottom right and I click and hold that and drag it down until I get down to the bottom of my names to Jane, let go and there's my random numbers. You'll notice that every number is different, which is what we want. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're, we're basically finished. We can highlight the numbers with the names and there's an option called sort and filter. And if I sort it from smallest to largest, all the names on the desks are going to change. I'm, I'm just going to do that now. Look, all the names have changed. We've got a random seating plan that has been made for you. All right, so that's basically all you need to know. There are some little things, little tricks we can use to neaten it up. For example, I can highlight all of this 
and I can make it a color of white and that gets rid of all the leftover lines from the cells. Um, I could even maybe highlight the blank desks with some sort of color so that I know that these desks are always going to be blank. It's really up to you how you want to do this. But each time you want to change it, what you do is you just highlight the students and the numbers, go to sort and filter. It doesn't matter if you do smallest to largest or largest to smallest, it's going to change all the names there randomly. Anyway, in conclusion, there, there is a little bit of an issue here, and that is that sometimes there are students that you do not want to sit next to each other. If you want me to make a video where we make a random seating plan that ensures that certain key students do not get to sit next to each other, write a comment below and I will make another video that shows you how you can do this.